Well, hello, and welcome to the first episode of Learning Web Development. My name is Chris Morrow, and I'm so excited about this series. Um, this, this series is for beginner level all the way up through advanced level. We're going to start with beginner level concepts first and then work our way up. Okay, let me share just a little bit about myself. I'm currently working as a senior web developer. I've been programming since 1997. Something else that I would like you to know is that I'm self-taught and I don't have a formal computer science degree. But I don't want you to think this is a bad thing. Actually, there are many jobs where my being self-taught actually helped me to get the job because many employers are looking for people that are continuing to educate themselves and having someone that doesn't have a formal computer science degree has that practice of learning and growing uh, themselves. So that's also a motivating factor for you where you can teach yourself. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a formal computer science degree. In some cases, some larger companies may require that or say they require it, but it's not always the case. The number one thing is can you do the work? So as I said, even after being self-taught with no computer science degree, I've worked for a number of different Fortune 500 companies, consulting firms, and digital agencies. Okay, let me stop boring you now with details about myself. I only mentioned my experience to let you know uh, that you can trust what I say that I've worked in the web programming field for many years, and I've been through all the different pitfalls and, and bad ways to do it, and I've learned a lot of the best practices, and I hope to share those with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so where to start? Well, I believe that you should learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript first. Well, why do I say that? Well, number one, these are easier than most programming languages to learn. And another great benefit of learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript first is there are a number of free online tools that allow you to get started programming instantly. You can start writing in a, uh, a page and see uh, text appear and then write some CSS and instantly see things change. And it's, it's pretty exciting to get uh, a quick start, whereas other programming languages may need a lot more setup. Now take a look at this graph on the right. It's listing programming languages listed by the number of jobs that use that programming language. And you can see that JavaScript is ranked third. So again, another key thing is to learn JavaScript because there's many, many jobs available out there for you. Okay, so let's talk about what is known as the layers of web development. The first layer of web development is the structure layer, and that is commonly known as the HTML code. The HTML code creates elements that are available on the page. For example, on the right here, this code is a P tag closed with another P tag, which represents a paragraph. The paragraph then has text inside the middle of it. The text is reading stuff. Uh, that's all it says. So right now on the website, you would just see the word stuff show up top left corner. Now, the second layer is the presentation layer, and this is where CSS comes in to actually change the presentation of the website. So the structure is the same. We have a paragraph, but now with CSS, this code can change the color of the text of, of any paragraph with that P and the uh, open braces uh, with color red, and now you see the stuff is actually colored in red. Now the third layer is the behavior layer. This is where JavaScript comes in. You can see an example of code on the right, an on-click event. When you click this paragraph, now with JavaScript we can change the color of the text to red. Okay, another layer that could be present on a web page is the data layer. This is where databases come in. The SQL programming language that we saw earlier is uh, related to databases and, and data. Um, but again, this is an optional layer, as is JavaScript and CSS. Those, are, those top three layers are all optional. The only thing that's required is HTML. Now, without CSS and JavaScript and data, it's not as an exciting 
web page, and but essentially you could have a web page with only HTML. It would just be kind of boring. Here's an example of that here. I'm a plain website with no CSS. So with, with no styles, you're going to get just plain black text on a white background. Okay, well that does it for the very first episode of this series. I hope you'll provide any comments that you have, any questions, and I'll reply to those as, as quick as I can. Um, and also, I hope you join me in the next episode where we discuss free online tools and resources to help you learn web development quicker.